Ah, Noblestead, the town where every day is yesterday. Yes, some may say that theirs is a community stuck in the past. But one man's dark ages is another man's time-honored tradition. And what are traditions, if not things we're still doing? Oh, it really makes you think. Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Today, I balance two hats jauntily on my one singular head. My regular disc jockeying hat is joined by my occasional chef hat. Yes, I'll be taking you all over Two Point County as I recount my latest culinary travels when I set out to find the finest foods our great county has to offer. Just a hungry man in his hatchback. It's a tale as old as time. We're sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine.
questions. No, I will not be your friend. world is a lot like the real world. There are places, there are smells, there's a chance you'll get lost. After a series of wrong turns, now 60 miles off course, I was treated to the first food of my trip. A wandering puffed pastry and something I believe to be meat. The buttery sausage style matter mingled playfully with hints of pine from my air freshener. It was unexpected. It was dangerous. It was cold in the middle. Warning. Stupid questions will make you look stupid. If you ask me, Hogsport boasts the finest milkshakes in Two Point County. At the Oily Cormorant, they'll serve you a traditional malt in an old leather boot and throw in a salt and vinegar egg. You just cannot beat it. Milkshakes are a great tradition. They're in our blood. In fact, I once received medical attention after enjoying a few dozen shakes and was told that my blood was over 60% ice cream. How <laughs> we laughed. <sighs> Visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately. Thank <laughs> you. 
questions. No, I've not seen your frog. to the Crumley student range. Unfoldable pizza. Yeah. It'll fill you up without filling up your cupboards. Oh yeah. Crumley's unfoldable pizza. It's a fraction the size of your average frozen pizza. Whoa. And when it's unfolded, well, you've got yourself a whole pizza. Mmm, just like Mama used to make.
students are reminded that I'm not your mum. A huge fan of Yeti cuisine. Yes, our neighbours to the north really know their way around a kitchen. From stews and pickles to five-tiered sandwiches and, of course, their pies. Cold hands make the boldest pastry, after all, and it is freezing up there. You really must try it. It's the food of the people, and those people are Yetis. Skills I was famished when I arrived at the Royal Tumble Hotel. So much so that I took advantage of my kitchenette and feasted greedily on some toast. When I returned from a walk, I was stunned to find that all crumbage had been decrumbled. The bed was made and the toilet spotless. Every sign of life had been washed away. You've got to ask yourself, had I really been staying here? Indeed, do I exist at all? Lovely stuff! Students are reminded to find themselves.
refundable. trip was all about regional delights and cultural differences. One man's casual volleyball is another's world-shattering epiphany. The people of Smogley have been crusting and dusting their fish for as long as anyone can remember. But at the recently opened What's the Batter, they use a unique cheesy gubbin crumb. Ho oh, ho ho ho! I can safely say that it was the cheesiest fish this DJ had ever eaten. <laughs> That's a winner! Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me.
I hope you enjoyed today's show as much as I enjoyed my trip around this wonderful, mysterious county of ours. But for now, all of this talk about food has made me hungry. So I'm off to the fridge to take out the first thing I find and cover it in mayonnaise. Until next time, I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Cheers! Announcement. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. Administrative bonuses. are reminded that this is the fun part.
Mindless Intruders, please not come in. Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Hello, hello. Today we're discussing for the very first time, ironically, sequels. Yes, that's right. When the wicked and wretched behind something decide that it's a good idea to bless us all once again with the second pressing of their already tenuous idea. If you don't know where your class is, is it really worth going? Equalization, or the art of doing something again, is derived from the Greek word sequalid, meaning lazy, repetitive, or in some way redundant. Hmm, it would seem that the ancients are trying to tell you something, ambitionless auteurs of our times. Expensive and 
education is priceless. Equalization, or the art of doing something again. Wait, no, we've covered that already. See what I did there? I almost repeated myself and then decided not to. It is possible. Up next, something fresh. Teacher required to do some teaching. Thank you. You 
university gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. Guys, guys, hear me out. What if we went back to school? It started as a class reunion and ended with them back in class. That's crazy! Hey, I'm climbing on a statue! Everybody get in the shed! I can't revise anymore, my knees hurt! Roderick Cushion is Varsity Freshman in Immature Students. This is a test announcement, not a real announcement. Students are asked not to ask questions.
Repetition seems to me to be at the heart of all of our cultural and social failings. Oh, what comfort you all seem to take in your cookie-cutter days. Another weekend, another Roachbiger. Another glorified re-release of the picture theatre. Come on, people! Go out there and live! Join me tomorrow on Two Point Radio, where I'll be talking about my collection of ceramic bowls. you are getting in touch about one particular sequel. Yes, the follow-up to Mr. Cushion's positively poisonous production, Perilous Spandex. The only thing hazardous about that particular picture is watching it. <laughs> the sequel, entitled Perilous Spandex 2, The Handles of Love, received the coveted Piece of Garbage Award. A little award that I bestow to highlight as a public service announcement, really, those films most bereft of value in our county's rich tradition of abominable filmmaking. Frequently asked questions. No, I will not be your friend.
chicken should not be pink. End of year is approaching. It's too late to start trying. This has been exhausting. We shan't be doing it again, because unlike all you reproduction peddling washed up rehashed monkeys, we at Two Point Radio know when to stop. That's the show. 
Of course, this has all been delivered to you with one rather heavy caveat. If I were ever to be involved in a second rendition of anything, I can be certain in telling you that it would be for good reason. And, if anything, would surely be a bigger, better, pickle-worthier version of what had come before it. <clears throat> How was that? Then right? If it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me.
Welcome to the show. I'm Richard E. Hawthorne, and you join me today for Two Point Radio's Election Day Special. We'll be talking all things mayoral as Two Point County approaches another important day in its history, and indeed, its future. Get in touch to tell us what you're thinking and how you're feeling. Who will be the next mayor of Two Point County? You decide. The administrator is reminded to stay hydrated. Back. Today's election sees incumbent Mayor Tabitha Winsock take on all challenges. One such foe is Gumbo McNally. Yes, the cousin of Jumbo CEO, Jumbo McNally. Ms. Winsock has held a steady, some say tedious, lead in the polls over Mr. McNally. But what effect, if any, will his last gas speech have on today's proceedings? If you missed it, Mr. McNally finished a rousing 12-minute display with a story of how he once took a modest pile of change from his father and turned it into an impressive lunchtime spread featuring sandwiches, crisps, and sausage rolls. Oh, now that is impressive. Frequently asked questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on. Please not come in. 
Christmas from Michelle and Smogley. I spoke to Mayor Winsock after a Q&A once and told her that I'd written her a letter. She said that she remembered reading it, but I'd never sent it to her. So what? Did she break into my house? Or is she, like, telepathic, but just with post? What a lovely anecdote, Michelle. And aren't we lucky to have a mayor that's willing to go above as well as beyond? It's too late to start trying. We know what young people want in a motor vehicle. Independence. Fun. Wheels. Beaver from Bungle. The car that puts the E in freedom. Students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. Results are in. Wow, didn't we do well? The summer break would be a convenient time for construction. The academic year is over. Students must vacate the campus.
inspirational. It's election day here in Two Point County. Who else remembers the year they tried to hold the election through a bungle-made phone application? It's amazing to think that we'll never know whether the app didn't work or if no one voted that year. That's the mysterious wonder of pioneering technology. Anyway, here's hoping that this year we'll get some votes in. Here's a word from Jeffrey in Blyton. I, for one, think things have been all right, but you know, could they have been better? I think I speak for everyone when I say, yes, maybe they could have. Well, thanks for your time, Jeffrey. Wise words. <laughs>
questions. No, I've not seen your frog. system. hour is almost here and this journalist's heart is positively beating with legislative excitement but while we wait for the final count I'll leave you with this I spoke to my neighbor last weekend and he informed me that he never decides his vote until he's in the booth giving that fateful cross to whichever candidate has the funnier name just goes to show we're all a bit of method and all a bit of madness Education is non-refundable.
The votes are in, and we're hearing that it's a landslide victory for Mayor Tabitha Windsock. Some people are bound to be pleased, while others must be feeling something else entirely. What we do know is that democracy has triumphed, meaning that, yet again, the people of Two Point County will be getting what they asked for. We've made our bed, and now it's time to sleep in it. Good night. If you don't know where your class is, is it really worth going? completed a research project. Well done.
been removed immediately. Yes, it's that time again, initiation week. We'll be trying to see through the hazing as every club, society and group with matching hats gets together to welcome their newest members by, well, sort of harassing them a bit. Students are reminded that I'm not your mum. It's time for an initiation week tip from our resident student expert, Maggie Watmore. I join every club because I don't want to miss out on any potentially precious campus experience. Unfortunately, quite a lot of the events do clash, but if you make a schedule and run really fast between them, you can do it all. You might be known as the person that comes late and leaves running before the end, but you know, it's important to leave an impression. If you hear this, please drink some water. Thank you.
reach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. with our initiation week special and how to handle it with style. <laughs> initiation week provides all of us with a lot of choices. But I wanted to take the time to remind you that you don't have to choose any of them. There's some